Hi friends. Um, so today I decided to read a book. Um, this week we're celebrating Passover um, in the Jewish community. So I wanted to read a book um, about Passover in the light of the holiday. And here's my little, my little friend who's going to be joining us today. It's called, This is the Matzah. This is written by Abby Levine and illustrated by Paige Billen Fry. This is the Matzah. This is the Matzah stacked in the aisle, matched reaches up to the top of the pile. Matzah for sandwiches, matzah for snacks, for matzah meal brownies and Seder, says Max. This is still early, but Ruth can't wait. Max helps her to fill up the Seder plate. And this is what the Seder plate looks like. The Seder plate is filled with things to symbolize the holiday. A lot of bitter herbs, um, a lamb bone, apples, nuts, and wine. Um, more bitter herbs and a roasted egg to symbolize new life for spring. Pretty cool. Um, okay. This is the tablecloth, spotlessly white, the silver and goblets sparkling and bright. For this night, so different from all other nights. And for Elijah, this is his cup. We fill it with wine. Will he pick it up? This is his wine right here. I filled it up. This is the blessing for fruit of the vine. Max drinks his grape juice, pretending it's wine. This is the parsley we dip for the years we labored in slavery and shed salty tears after the blessing from the fruit of the vine. When everyone sipped from the grape juice and wine that sit on the tablecloth spotlessly white. For this night so different from all other nights where Ruth placed the beautiful Seder plate that she filled up earlier and she just couldn't wait. Next to the matzah stacked in a pile from the boxes that Max chose in the Passover aisle. This is the matzah that Grandma divides. There's half of the table and half that she hides. These are the four questions. It's Ruth's turn to chant. She sings Manishnata with some help from her aunt. This is our story. Each one tells a part. Max knows the names of the plagues by heart. In Egypt, we toiled long and ceaselessly. Moses asked Pharaoh to let us go free. But hard-hearted Pharaoh refused to relent until the terrible 10th plague was sent. We packed all we owned in the darkness and fled. We brought only dough, no time to bake bread. We reached the Red Sea, which parted in two, leaving a path where we could cross through. Our dough baked to matzah beneath the hot sun. That day in the desert, it fed everyone. Tonight, we imagine that we are the band, rescued from slavery by God's outstretched hand. This is the sandwich of bitter and sweet, and this is our dinner. It's time to eat.
This is the hunt under the pillows and chairs, in the bathroom, the basement, and even upstairs for the matzah that Grandma has hidden. But where? This is the door that Max opens wide. He whispers, Elijah, please come inside. And this is the wind that blows through the door. Isn't it open now more than before? Was it Elijah? Look at his cup. We know he's been here for he has drunk some wine up. Where'd it go? This is the uncle who sings out of tune and louder than anyone else in the room. After the wind has blown through the door where Elijah has passed so often before and all the kids search under pillows and chairs for the matzah that's hidden, but no one knows where. After the sandwich of bitter and sweet, the story we tell before we all eat. The parsley, the wine, and the table so bright on this night so different from all other nights. And this is the end of our Seder. And then tomorrow we'll start eating matzah again. There's matzah lasagna that's served piping hot, matzah balls bobbing inside the soup pot, matzah meal brownies, and matzah for snacks. We got lots of matzah for Pesach, says Matt. Thank you everyone for listening to the Passover story. Um, I hope everyone has a safe and healthy holiday and we will uh, see each other tomorrow. Bye-bye.